Good morning, children of grace. It is so wonderful to be with you today. Today, we are going to start the first of a mini ukulele series for the month of August. I know that so many of you have ukuleles at home and have been very interested in learning more about my friend the ukulele and learning about playing your own ukuleles. Don't worry. If you don't have a ukulele, we're still going to be singing some really great songs that we all know and love. So please feel free to follow along, sing along, and enjoy. So before we get started, we're going to need to learn a little bit about our ukulele and how to tune it. And after that, today we're going to sing the song Kumbaya and learn about the chords that we need to play on the ukulele for that song. Here we go. Okay, so first let's learn about the four strings that are on the ukulele and their names. So I always hold my ukulele so that the neck, this part, is in my left hand and the body is, is in my right hand. That's because I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, you might want to do it the other way. Anyway, from top to bottom, I have the note G, then C, it's the second string down, then E, the third string down, and then the fourth string down, the bottom, is A. However, I have not tuned my ukulele today, so you might be able to hear that those strings aren't exactly right. So any time that I want to play my ukulele, I need to tune it first. Well, how do I tune it? I know that I've shown this to some of you before, but let's go over it again today. So I personally like to use an app that I have on my phone called Kala Ukulele. Kala is spelled K-A-L-A. -A. And I'm sure there are many other apps that you can get for free um, that will do the same thing. This is just the one that I have. So I go into Kala Ukulele, and first it says, choose G, because that is my top string. So I'm going to choose G, and then I will play it. And, well, what do you know? Did you hear the little beep? Let's see, let's try again. It tells me on my app, green, it says in tune. So that tells me my top string, my G, is good. So next, I'm going to choose the next C to the C, the next string down, and I'm going to play that. Well, this time it says too high. So I have to find the knob that controls my pitch on my C string, and I have to turn it very gently to lower it. And then it gave me the beep. It said in tune. So next I select for the third string E and I play it, it says that one is also too high. So I find the knob that controls the pitch for my third string, and I adjust it to lower the pitch, and it just told me it is in tune. Then I go down to my A string. I select A on the app so it knows which one I'm doing. I play it. And it just told me all in tune. So now I can play a song. Now that my ukulele is in tune, it's ready to play. The song that I would like to sing today, Kumbaya, requires three different chords for us to play on the ukulele. So let's learn how to play them. Before we do though, uh, we did talk about the ukulele strings. We also need to talk about my fingers. Um, for me on my left hand, because I'm a right-handed person, they have numbers. Uh, so my pointer finger, we're going to call finger one. Middle finger, we're going to call finger two. Ring finger, finger three. And my pinky is going to be finger four. Okay? So anyway, now that we have some numbers for my fingers, the first chord that we need to know is a C major chord, or we would just call it a C chord. And what I need to do is 
my bottom string is going to have finger three, my ring finger, down on the one, two, three, the third fret. These metal lines are called frets and they tell me where I can put my fingers to make the sounds that I want to play. So my third finger on the bottom string right above the third fret, that's how I make a C chord. So anytime that we see that we need a C chord, I'm going to play this chord. The second chord that we need to know is an F major chord or just an F chord. And this time, I need to touch down on my, uh, my E string here um, at the first fret with finger one. And I also am going to get my top string, my G string. I'm going to do the second fret. And let's see, do I usually? I think I usually actually use fingers one and two for that. But there's my F chord. So I had my C chord. And then I also have my F chord. And then last but not least, we do need to know one more chord, and it is a G chord. So I'm going to use fingers one, two, and three. I need to find the second fret on my C and my A strings like this and I also need to use uh, my third finger on the E string by the third fret and this makes a G major chord or a G chord. So I know that might have been a lot to see all at once but you can go back and uh, take a look at it and see if it makes any sense to you. Um, we're going to keep working with these same chords over the next few weeks, so it should keep making more and more sense. Anyway, those are the only three chords I need to know to play Kumbaya. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that my ukulele is in tune, and we know about its strings, and we know about our fingers and the frets, and we know the three chords that we need to know, uh, we can go ahead and sing and play Kumbaya. The only other thing that we do still need to decide is my strumming pattern, and that's just saying my other hand still needs to strum the strings to make sound for my ukulele. So the pattern that I'm going to use in this song is a down, down, up, down, down, up pattern. It's not so difficult, but you might want to give that a try before you try to sing and play at the same time. Anyway, here is Kumbaya. basic idea and then we have a whole bunch of other verses we can add so why not the next one is called someone singing Lord I'm just gonna run through a bunch of the verses so that we can all really enjoy this song
friends well that was maybe a lot to take in today but the good thing is since we're in a digital format you can watch that again as many times as you want to pick up on some of the things about the ukulele and I look forward to seeing you again next week when we will have another song for the ukulele that we can sing along to as well I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week